Greetings, my name is Alistair George from Radio Spears and I've been working with computers for about 30 years now. I'm a design engineer, I've designed computers and uh, learned about five different programming languages and um, it's time that I started imparting my knowledge to uh, you folks. The good Lord's um, told me that it's uh, he's given me a skill and uh, I wish to share those skills with you and likewise you've all got individual skills and hopefully you can share those skills with others as well. Um, low cost memory cards that you can purchase on various Chinese outlets and in fact um, a lot of people are bringing them in to um, your own country and selling them off at a discount price because they get them uh, these particular cards uh, they cost me about eight dollars US each for a 32 gigabyte micro SD which is the, the little one there that's an amazing price an unbelievable unbelievable price and that's why I bought them to make sure that they were suitable because I can send them back Anyway, the people that sell them over there, they're the ones that suffer because the, they buy them from another source and the other source is providing fakes. Now, they're not just fakes insofar as they're not the genuine article, but they're fakes insofar as electronically they do not work properly. I suspect the true memory capacity on them is about 2 gigabytes. Uh, what you can do is... Um, load them up with stuff and they'll appear as you're transferring files to them to take all the data on board but in actual fact they only take about the first two gigabytes of data valid and then they just th throw checksums back to the computer that's sending the data to them to make it think that the rest of the data is going along fine when it's not. Also they can damage your products I've had two card readers that are now DOA, dead on arrival, um, and they were they were hosting these devices, and um, incidentally they go through various um, partition checking softwares, to, and they they look fine, everything appears to be good, and then suddenly these your your host devices can stop working. Um, They've affected both of those e-pads in so far as they work fine apart from the fact that you can't plug them into a USB port anymore um, as far as uh, working in conjunction with a PC. I'm still working on that one. I might be able to sort that out. But the bottom line is that um, you don't get anything for very low price uh, because the actual manufacturing costs of these things anyway 32 gigabyte cards to, just to make them cost about 50 uh, US dollars so there's no way that you're going to get those for about eight or nine dollars but uh, what <laughs> when I first got them I thought gee these things are amazing oh, it's unbelievable and then when I actually did some real testing and got into the heart of it um, then they proved to be absolute rubbish so these are all going back um, and I'm just disappointed that um, I've damaged a bit of stuff but I was being a bit naive anyway by thinking that um, that there was a company out there that could supply stuff at a, at a good price so please don't get involved with that stuff it, uh, it can do un cause you untold headaches and if you're a distributor thinking you're getting cheap product to on sell um, be honest, don't buy them, get the good stuff so it's God bless from uh, me to you, and um, we'll move on to the next bit of info shortly. Bye.